Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to show you my May favorites and what I've been loving this month. I don't have that many products, so if you want to see what I've been loving, please keep watching. So the first product that I've been absolutely obsessed with um, is the Jergens. It's a moisturizer for wet skin and it's, a, it's with coconut oil. They have two, um, two scents of this. They have the coconut oil one and then something else. But it's funny because I tried the Nivea in shower moisturizer and I thought I didn't like it. I was, so I was like, these things don't work. They're not hydrating enough. They don't do what they say. So I saw this one, it was new, and then it had coconut, and you know how I am about coconut. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy it, and I'm gonna try it. It was on sale, I think I got it for like $6.99, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try it, it's half price. And this one's already empty, I already have a full one in my shower, and I will not go a day without using this in the shower. You legit, you don't towel off, so you just turn off your shower, you're still wet, and you're gonna put this all over your body, and then you get out, and you get changed, or whatever. Your skin is actually less moisturized. You don't even really need moisturizer. Sometimes I'll put a little bit extra moisturizer if I feel like I'm a little bit drier. But for the most part, this is all I've been using for moisturizer and it's keeping me hydrated. So I'm super impressed with this. Okay, so the next thing I have is this hairspray. Usually I buy cheaper hairsprays just because, I don't know, not really into the hair game. I should try to get more into it. But I usually just try anything cheaper with a nice smell. But I picked up the Redken... Forceful 23 Super Strength Finishing Spray. Yeah, this hairspray is amazing. I understand why people probably pay a little bit more for hairspray because this holds your style. The spray on it, I mean, like the not the spray on it's amazing. It's really fine mist and doesn't leave your hair crunchy. The smell just smells like a normal hairspray. It doesn't like doesn't smell like coconuts or anything great, but it is really good for holding your style and for keeping your hair the way you want it without being crunchy. So I really am enjoying this Redken Forceful uh, 23 hairspray. It's pretty awesome. It, it makes me want to try more Redken products, but it's expensive. Okay, I have two primers. Um, so the two primers that I've been really liking, I like them for different things. So the first one is the Smashbox Professional Primer. I've had this for a long time and I kind of like, I used it and then I left it. But here's the thing, at first when I first was using it, I didn't like it and it's because um, I was using it all over my face. I think for a primer all over your face, unless you're like super oily and have a lot of pores, I think for all over your face, it didn't work for me. I found it really balled up. You know when you start rolling a product and it starts to ball? I had that kind of problem with this primer. So I kind of like put it away and never touched it again. What I've been doing for the last like two months is I've been just taking a little bit of this and just putting it on my nose because that's basically the only place where I get um, visible pores. Especially when I exfoliate my face, um, it really leaves the pores open and I can really notice that I have open pores. So I've been using a tiny bit of this just to fill in the pores of my nose and it doesn't roll and I really do like that for that purpose of filling in pores on my nose. The primer that I've really been enjoying for all over my face is the CoverGirl True Blend Face Primer for Combination Skin. I've been using this primer for a while now, I'd probably say two months. Um, I've never, to be honest with you, used a drugstore primer. Usually with primers, I always go high end. So when I was um, given this, I was kind of like, mm, probably won't use it, but I've been really, really enjoying this. I find my makeup, it holds just as well as if I use an expensive primer. So, and the texture of this is really lightweight, it's like a lightweight cream. And I don't use this on my nose, I just use the other primer on my nose and then this one all over my face. And I definitely have been really enjoying this. And it's cheap, it's like $10. Score. Okay, I have one serum. So this serum I've been using now for probably just like a month and a bit. Um, this is the Clarins Vital Light Serum. It's a dark spot correcting serum. And I love this serum, I love it. So this helps get rid of your dark spots. Basically, I use this in the morning. Uh, I put it all over my face in the morning and the way it makes my skin feel, it feels like silk. I haven't never had a breakout from it. Um, I do notice my skin, it's like so much, it's bright, it's clear, it's super nice. Clarence products are so great. I love Clarence skincare. They're, it's Clarence skincare is amazing. If you want to splurge on some skincare, go to, go to see Clarence. Go, go to a Clarence counter. Go to Shopper's Drug Mart. Go somewhere, pick up some Clarence, try it out. So I've been really, really enjoying this. It's amazing, but it's discontinued. It's freaking discontinued. So they're back. So what they've done, they discontinued the Violite serum, 
and they've replaced it with this serum here. This is called Emission Perfection Dark Spot Correcting Even Tone Healthy Radiance Serum. Um, this is what they replaced it with. It's actually cheaper. The one I'm using, is it was around $100. This one, I think, retails for about $70, $80. Um, I have not tried this. I gave it to my mom because my mom loves freaking Clarence. So when I received this, I gave it to my mom. My mom used it. My mom said it's unbelievable. She loves it. Um, so that's my mom's testimonial on this. So basically, if you do want to try a dark spot serum from Clarence, um, this is supposed to be the enhanced version of this. So if I love that 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 much, then this should be just as good. And my mom swears by this. So try it out. Pick it up. So the next product I'm going to talk about is the Becca Under Eye Brightening Correcting little guy. So when I first got this, I was a little skeptical. The reviews are mixed on it. Some people love it. Some people don't. Some people say it's too sticky. Some people like the sticky tackiness of it. Personally, I love this. I've been using this. I, I actually love this. So what I've been doing, this is good for brightening. So if you don't have a lot of darkness and you just want to brighten your under eye, I do suggest this because I do think you'll like this. If you have a lot of darkness, a lot of brown underneath your eye purple, I would suggest picking up a color correcting primer with the orange, like a serious orange one. I do like the NYX color correcting um, under eye thing. So I've been using that just right here. I get dark circles like right here, that's it. So I put a little bit of the NYX and then I put this guy on and I bring it all the way down into a triangle and then I blend it out and then I add concealer over top. I really do like this, I was concerned how bad my hands are. I was concerned at first with the tackiness of it because I was like, okay, this is definitely going to crease. Does it crease? If you set it, it's really, really nice. I do suggest this if you want to brighten your under eye. It makes a huge difference. I don't know. I'll show you myself tanned hand. But here, like see, it just reflects light really nice and it's super, super brightening. And I really, 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 really like this. So this to me is like a staple now in my under eye game. And once that runs out, I probably will be picking up another one for sure. For shizzle. Okay, I have like a couple more products and that's the end of it. So, um, for my eyebrow, I've been using this eyebrow pencil probably for like two years. I've tried other eyebrow pencils, I've tried powders, I've tried everything. It's, honestly, I, I just keep going back to this. I do love this. This is the Clarins, um, it's the eyebrow pencil in soft blonde, and what I like about it is it has a little brush on the end, a good a good one, like a good quality one. So that's really handy. But I do like the color of the blonde. It is not too light. I find sometimes blonde eyebrow pencils can be way too light. So that's the color of the pencil right there. So it's still like a taupey brown color. It's not that light, weird, grayish reddish weird blondness so that's why I really like it and I like it because it glides on so easily like you just swipe it and then if you make a mistake it's so easy to um, brush out and it has a little bit of a wax in it so it does stay put on your eyebrow all day and I, I it lasts me a while and I really do like this it's been my go-to for years and I have an eyeliner that I've been really really liking this is the Rimmel Smoke and Shine Exaggerate Eyeliner in Copper Bling um, I've been using this now for the last month and I've been using it honestly like every like other day. Buys on super nice, it holds all day. I have it in my waterline today. Have it like right in here. And I have it too on my upper lid as well, but I have it in my waterline all smudged out. Um, it holds all day, it glides on really nicely and it's this color here, you can see. It's like a nice coppery brown color and I just like the way that it glides on and I really do like the color. I think it's really flattering. And then, this is it. This is the end. Um, my lip combo of the month, I've been like doing this non-stop. So what I'm doing is I'm taking MAC Whirl, which I'm almost done. Uh, I need to get more. So MAC Whirl, I'm sure everyone knows, it was like Kylie Jenner. It was a Kylie Jenner thing. It was sold out for like the longest time. It's like a mauve brownie lip liner right here and then what I've been doing is weird because what I'll do is I'll overdraw my lips a bit with it and it kind of blends into my natural lip color so it kind of looks a little bit more natural I've been using the NYX liquid suede cream in the color uh, Life's a Beach I believe yeah Life's a Beach 
This is a great summer shade. It's amazing. Check out the shade. So what I've been doing is I've been layering it over top of this. It kind of just hides it anyways, but I like to overdraw my lip with it. But that's what I've been doing. And this is like a super nice corally pink. It's amazing for summertime. I love it. And I like the suede better than I like the soft matte lip creams because I find the suede doesn't dry my lips out. When I do use the soft matte lip creams, I find they really dry my lips. So these ones don't, so that's a plus with the suede. That will be the end of my May favorites. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And in the comment bar below, if you have any favorites that you are loving this month and you think I should try, let me know. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Thanks for watching.